Uh, hello, this is Abu Amr from Saudi Arabia. I'm here to talk about pigeon genetics. Uh, the most important thing we need to know about pigeon genetics is that every single pigeon in this world is consists of two things. The first thing is the base color or what I call the real or the true color. Number two is what is called the pattern. The pattern is the pattern we see on the wing of the bird. Sometimes we can see it very clearly and sometimes we cannot see it because of some reasons. Anything other than that actually is not called a color. It's a modifier or a factor. The base color or the true color or the, the real color is actually only we have three of them. The most dominant one is the ash red then we have what's called the blue and the most recessive one is the brown so the dominant one the most dominant one is the red, and then we have the lower one which is the blue then the recessive one the least recessive one which is the brown. The ash red can carry the blue, but the blue cannot carry the brown. The ash red. The blue can carry the brown, but the brown cannot carry the blue or the ash red. The same thing for the patterns. There are actually four patterns on the wing. The top, which is the most dominant one is the T pattern, then we have the check pattern, then we have the bar pattern, then the least recessive one, which is the barless. So each bird have either one of the three colors and one of the patterns. If we mix them together, we have we can have a combination, or sorry, we can have 12 combinations. 3 multiplied by 4 is 12. So each bird can have at least one color and one pattern. For the colors, a male bird can have one color and carry another one. But for the females, they cannot have but only one color. For the patterns, every bird can have two patterns. The dominant one will show and the rest of one will be carried. So we can say, for example, a T pattern bird that carry a check or carry a bar or carry a barless but a barless cannot carry any of the other three patterns the check can carry a bar or barless but cannot carry a t pattern the same thing for a bar it can carry either a barless or cannot carry the check or the t pattern this is the most important thing about pigeon genetics. Once you understand that, every other thing can be easily understood. Any other thing you see is called a modifier or a factor on these patterns and colors. So for example, an almond bird must have one of those three colors and at least one of those patterns. 
an opal bird should be opal ashrit or opal blue or opal brown and one of those patterns so it will be opal for example ashrit t button or ashrit uh, check or ashrit bar or ashrit barless the same thing goes for all the other modifiers like the dilute the extreme dilute the opal the almond the co-almond the grizzles the tigers the recessive red the recessive white for the recessive white for example you can see the bird as a white bird but it has a color and a pattern which you cannot see because of the recessive white the same thing for the recessive red the recessive red can give you a whole bird in one red color but the base color could be an ash red or a blue or a brown and the pattern is one of the four patterns we have but you cannot see that color or that pattern because of the modifier which is the recessive red that's the same for reduced grizzles tigers co-almond uh, uh, any other modifiers that you can see in most of the fancy patients.